tunnels when I spoke because we moved places and I had a really funky different accent and I had a lisp and I had a stutter when I got nervous. I became very, very self-conscious. Like, I still am. But it's got to the point now where it's so easy to bully, uh, especially with uh, all the, the cell phones and all the devices, all the different ways you can do it. Uh, the truth is, is that it, you can't bottle things up, you can't hide things, you've got to reveal everything, because if everything's revealed, then everyone's on the same page. It's, it's actually frowned upon a lot now by bully, uh, bullying by other kids that are, you know, it's just not cool. At, at one point it was cool to do that sort of thing. Yeah, it's, it's become a very uncool thing to do and that's I think that's at least one hurdle we've jumped across is that it's uh, um, there's there's nothing funny about it anymore on the bus there was a couple of people that said mean things like I'm ugly I've been called fat and called a squeaky voice they called me girl yeah, got, got made fun of because I cracked clothes all the time. I've been bullied other people before just because, you know. Yeah, I do that too. Because yeah. people always make fun of me, so I just, you know, think it's sort of the right thing to do. So everyone seemed to pick on me all the time, and I didn't like being picked on. And I guess it kind of, without me realising it, turned me into a bully. Because it was the feeling of almost being alone and no one wanting to know you or no one wanting to pay any attention to you. So it was almost like my way of getting attention because people, although they were scared of me, they knew me or something. In year eight, on the bus mostly. On the way home, I would just get like punched and stuff and um, called lots of nice names. <laughs> and yeah, I just. It affects you pretty badly, um, your self-esteem and everything. This is the video that's left 15-year-old Robin De Jong shaken and sobbing. An attack lasting nearly 30 seconds with Robin severely beaten by another girl from her school. She wants One News to air all the footage, but we've decided it's so bad we can't show you how it ends. A man in the neighbourhood witnessed the attack. He saw Robin blood coming out of her ears. Well, I think there's a lot of different reasons why bullies become bullies. Uh, one could be to do with the fact that they've been bullied themselves and have a sense of perhaps powerlessness, and so they seek um, people that they perceive as being less powerful than themselves so that they regain some sense of control. I just my siblings and then they and I would play games and always like pick on me. So I thought, oh like at school, I'm the powerful one. I want to pick on other people. Pe a person said that he will make some vomit inside himself when he sees me. Why me? 